Hey guys, Jay here, and it's been a weird week so far, and pretty much nothing has been going on on the gaming front right now except for one thing. Apparently Activision and Amazon were going to make a Crash Bandicoot cartoon show, but it was scrapped after a year of development due to the dispute over a joke. I did some more digging on that and found out some interesting news, but before that, let's go over what the series was going to entail. Though we made into half hour format, short 20 second segments will lead into a 7 minute standalone story. The kind of absurdity will ramp up the funny while keeping the show feeling completely silly, freeform, unfiltered, and genuinely original. They are also great to just put out there to entertain on social media. The location will be the mysterious and otherworldly Wampa Islands, where, of course, Wampa Island is where our main characters live. However, there are many other islands in the chain with limitless terrains, ice and snow, fantasy, forest, tropical, swampy, jungle, spooky, an endless and playful place more than suitable for Crash and his friends. To travel and explore. Some of the cast were, of course, Crash, who was mostly mute but a chaotic good kind of hero, a free spirit with a good heart. He'll speak in an Australian gibberish that only other characters will understand and interpret. Dr. Neil Cortex was born in a family of circus clowns. Cortex's full name is Neil Periwinkle Cortex. Unlike the rest of his family, Cortex was sickly introverted and preferred studying science over making people laugh. Because of this, he bore the brunt of numerous jokes which would culminate in the large N standing for nerd being tattooed onto his head at the age of three by a particularly cruel group of performers. Coco is the highly intelligent, cute, and spirited adventure loving younger sister of Crash. Coco is a whiz with computers and helps her big brother with any technological problems that arise in adventures that require more intelligence than Crash supplies. She loves everything natural and all animals, even the ones that may or may not really exist. Magic ponies, unicorns, rainbows, fairies, Coco loves them, to the point where it makes you wonder if she may be just a little crazy herself, just like her brother. Some of the other characters that were going to make an appearance in the show were Tiny Tiger, Ripper Roo, Koala Kong, Embryo, Dingo Dial, Nina, and Tana Bandicoot. The show will be outrageous, crazy, and wild, but not in bad taste. Overly gross jokes and the like are just too easy to make. We're going for something even more clever. Crash Bandicoot is the lead character, but not every 7 minute cartoon story will feature Crash. Because there are so many characters and environments in the Crash Bandicoot universe, they can and will jump all over the place. They will pair up, mix and match, and feature any and many of the characters in whatever ways they want and sometimes not want. One of the episode synopsis is for Beach Blanket Bandicoot. An innocent day at the beach turns from paradise to peril as Crash faces off against Beach Bully Koala Kong for the beautiful Tana's affections. Crash and Kong beat the daylights out of each other as they try to impress the girl with a variety of beach stunts and antics. Their duel is interrupted when a gang of hungry land sharks invade the beach. In the end, I found that a post was written by one of the alleged show writers the day before claiming that the show just had been axed the day before posting this on Reddit by higher ups at Activision after a year of work. The original post did not provide any evidence of the claims on Reddit, but later was edited to include a draft of the production bible and test footage. They also claimed early on that it was cancelled over a single joke, later that it was more generally over creative conflicts with the scripts and back and forth at what kind of show Crash would actually be. Ultimately, we don't really know if all this info was real or not because people pointed out that the crash bible for the show was made April 1st 2020. But then again why go through all the trouble for making files and an animated test short just to get the attention. Personally I kind of like the animated style of crash with squash and stretch and where they were going with the show but I would have liked the episodes to be 11 to 15 minutes instead of the 7 minute episodes with shorts spliced in. In the comments below tell me your thoughts on crash bandicoot the animated series and with that being said stay safe guys and I'll see you next time. Call me lemon tits one more time and I'll fillet yours off your chest.